Yo, what is good YouTube? I'm Richie Kim and today I'm going to be bringing you all the performance review on the brand new Jordan 36 Low. Before we get started, if you all enjoy sneaker content just like this, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button down below and also hit that bell notification button so you never miss another video just like this. But anyways, let's get right into it. As always, starting off with the traction, the Jordan 36 Low features the exact same traction pattern as the regular Jordan 36. So what you're going to get is a herringbone traction pattern up in the forefoot and the heel. Uh, really, the only difference on this compared to at least a version of the 36 that I tested is that this actually has a full solid rubber outsole or a solid color rubber outsole I should say and not only is it a solid color it's actually really really cool um, it has like the splatter print with like uh, some black and red splatter it really reminds me of almost like a cement splatter uh, but yeah you know so this is a solid color not a translucent rubber and yeah the traction on here is still really really good i would say that the performance is very similar to the translucent rubber um it, they're both very very good but one thing that i did notice compared to the translucent rubber is that the solid color doesn't pick up as much dust so that is just something that i noticed uh but yeah you know if you're playing on your clean courts you're gonna be good if you're playing on your dusty courts, you're still going to have really good traction. Uh, maybe the occasional wipe here and there. Uh, but like I said, you know, this color does pick up less dust than the translucent rubber. Um, so yeah, traction on here is solid. It's very, very good. So moving on to the cushion, the Jordan 36 Low features the exact same cushion setup as the Jordan 36. What you're going to get is a full length, what I believe to be a Phylon midsole. And inside of here, you're gonna get a full length zoom strobe unit, which feels amazing. And you also have another four foot zoom unit right here. Uh, you can see the outline. And uh, yeah, you know, the cushion in here is amazing. Um, very bouncy, a lot of impact protection. Uh, you do, I guess, lose out on a little bit of court feel just because of all the zoom. But in my personal opinion, it's totally worth it because the amount of cushion that you get in this shoe just feels amazing. Um, you get that very zoomy feel, you know, you get that bounce. Um, it's just amazing. Zoom is probably by far the best cushion setup in my personal opinion. Um, so yeah, you know, the double stacked zoom units in here feel amazing. So if you do like zoom, definitely, you know, this is gonna be to your liking. When it comes to the zoom strobe unit, if any shoe has it, I'm most likely gonna like the cushion setup in that shoe. So moving on to the materials, the Jordan 36 low features the exact same materials as the regular Jordan 36. I believe this is a Leno weave upper or something like that. So basically what it is, is you're gonna get this like textile with some TPU strands running throughout it to give it that extra structure and rigidity. Um, and then, you know, you do have some fuse overlays as well, as well as these like synthetic I want to say it's supposed to be like synthetic suede, uh, but it definitely feels more like felt to me. And uh, this strip basically goes throughout the entire shoe. Um, it does feel pretty damn cheap, uh, but hey, you know, in terms of the performance, it does get the job done just fine. Actually very well. Um, so yeah, you know, obviously, quality of the materials on the shoe is definitely not the best, but it does get the job done in terms of the performance, um, just as like, I don't know, I guess they wanted to make it slightly more premium. You do have this heel tab on the back, which is basically like this synthetic suede as well. And then moving towards the tongue, you do have like this nylon-ish tongue. It's a very thin tongue, uh, not a lot of padding, uh, but you do have these nice wide flat laces uh, for this shoe. So if you do like to crank down your laces, you won't feel the laces digging into your foot, which is also nice. And then on the Jordan 36 Low, uh, you also have this like, um, the shoe lock or lace lock here. Um, just a cool little touch, I guess. Uh, personally, uh, I don't like it just because it kind of gets in the way, but it is pretty cool aesthetically. Uh, so that's just one thing to note that's a little different as well. So yeah, overall the quality of the Jordan 36 Low in terms of the materials, you know, it's definitely not the best in terms of quality, but in terms of performance, it gets the job done very well. So moving on to the fit, the Jordan 36 Low, pretty much fits the exact same as the regular Jordan 36. Uh, personally, I think it runs true to size. Uh, it is a little narrow up in the forefoot. 
Um, I'm a slightly wide footer and I went true to size and I felt fine. I did feel like a little bit of pressure up in the pinky toe area. However, you know, it's not to the point where it was super uncomfortable or anything like that. I didn't have any pain either. Um, so yeah, if you have a slightly wide foot, I'd say you're okay going true to size. If you have really wide feet, probably go up a half size just to be safe. And then, you know, regular footers, narrow footers, I do think going true to size is your best bet. Um, the materials do lie very nicely over the foot. You know, you don't have any dead space up in the toe box area. And even though there isn't like a lot of padding in the heel, you feel very comfortable in the heel as well. Uh, you feel overall pretty snug in the shoe. So yeah, you know, I would say that the fit in the Jordan 36 low is good. So moving on to the support, the support in the Jordan 36 low is almost the same as the Jordan 36. Um, for some reason, at least in the right shoe for me, I actually had a little bit of heel slippage. So moving on to the support, I would say that the support in the Jordan 36 low is pretty identical to the regular Jordan 36. Um, however, there is one difference. And in the 36 low, for some reason, I actually had a little bit of heel slippage, at least in my right shoe. I didn't have any heel slippage in my left shoe, just the right shoe. So it may be more on me, uh, but I just wanted to point it out that I do have a little bit of heel slippage in my right shoe. Uh, not to the point where I felt like my shoe was gonna slip off or could easily slip off, but it was you know, pretty noticeable to the point where it's always in the back of your mind that the shoe could possibly fall off. And you know, that could just lead to some possible ankle rolling or injury, something like that, which is not something that you want. Um, but yeah, everywhere else, the support is exactly the same. I didn't have any side-to-side -side movement on the footbed. I felt very contained on the footbed. The materials do a great job of making sure that your foot isn't sliding around. Um, in terms of the lateral movements, uh, you're going to be covered. I would say this is a fairly wide base, uh, so you aren't going to be rolling over. And then obviously, in terms of the torsional rigidity and stability, uh, you're covered there as well as you have like this... Um, I, I forget what they call this plate, uh, but it's almost like an eclipse plate. And this is basically the midfoot shank. So it is very stiff and rigid. So you're covered on that front. So yeah, you know, overall the support was pretty good. Just, you know, I had some minor heel slippage in my right shoe. That's just something to note. Um, if you all have played in the Jordan 36 low, let me all know if you actually have some heel slippage in your shoes as well. Cause I am very curious if it is just, you know, a me problem, but yeah, that is something to note. So the Jordan 36 low retails for, I believe $165 and for 165 bucks, still a must cop. Um, you know, like I said, everything about this shoe is good, except for, I guess, like the slight heel slippage for me. Um, personally, because of the heel slippage, um, I really won't be playing in this, uh, just because, you know, like I said, you know, the heel slippage is minor, but it's always in the back of my head. Uh, and you know, obviously I have a bunch of other shoes that I can play in as well, where I don't have that issue. Um, so yeah, for me, I won't be playing in these just because of that. However, let's say I didn't have that heel slippage issue. I would say this is definitely a like top tier performer. Um, it is super comfortable. The traction is great. Um, you know, you feel very supportive, uh, obviously besides the heel slippage. But yeah, you know, as long as you don't have that heel slippage, this is definitely a must cop. Um, these are just a great performer. Uh, don't use these outdoors though, obviously these are expensive and you don't want to blow through the outsole that quickly. Um, so yeah, but 165 bucks. If you guys don't have the heel slippage, this is definitely a great performer. And if you wanted to pick up a pair of these, I'll leave a link for you down in the description box below. But yeah, that's pretty much it for this performance review. If you all like this video, do me a favor and hit that subscribe button down below. And also hit that bell notification button so you never miss another video just like this. And also please hit that thumbs up button for me as it really does help me out. Also check out these videos over here and that's pretty much it. Until next time, peace.